Ever wondered what makes a great photograph? Indeed, it's the amalgamation of your vision, creativity and skill, which are undeniably vital elements. However, the right technical equipment is the tool that helps you translate your artistry into tangible reality. It can elevate your work, carrying images to new altitudes of finesse and brilliance. This is what we are keenly exploring in the depth of today's discussion. So, fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the fascinating world of photography equipment. Our maiden voyage is into the expansive universe of cameras. A camera is not just a tool, it's an ally, a partner that works with you to capture the world through your lens. And within this realm, we have an array of options to consider. As we delve deeper, we'll navigate the intricate maze of mirrorless, DSLR and rangefinder types. Unraveling the secrets of each will help you understand what sets them apart and how each can revolutionize your photography game. Let's start with the mirrorless. Compact as they come, these cameras are the epitome of convenience fused with quality. Their size makes them easy to handle, yet they don't compromise on the ability to capture stunning images. But that's not all. The mirrorless is also incredibly versatile, bridging gap between point-and-shoot simplicity and the powerful performance of more professional-level cameras. Next up, we have the DSLR, or Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera. Robust and filled with intricate technology, it's a favorite among professionals. With its high-quality performance, it brings superior image quality and versatility in the type of photography you can engage in. Whether you're capturing a beautiful sunset or an adrenaline-filled sports event, the DSLR stands as a reliable companion. Finally, we arrive at the rangefinder. This type might not be familiar to many, but it's favored by those who crave precision and discretion. With a unique focusing system, the rangefinder allows for accurate framing giving you the edge in street and portrait photography. Its quiet operation and compact form make it a discreet choice allowing photographers to blend into their surroundings and capture candid moments with ease. In this journey, we've come across different types of cameras, each having its own strengths. But let's not forget, at the end of the day, it's not just about the equipment. It's about how you, the photographer, can harness these tools to transform your vision into a captivating visual narrative. The compact and versatile mirrorless, the robust and high-quality DSLR, and the precise discrete rangefinder each brings its own strengths to the table but they are all tools to help you create your art that's what we're delving into today our first stop was the world of cameras where we navigated through mirrorless dslr and rangefinder types each brings its own strengths to the table the compact and versatile mirrorless the robust and high quality dslr and the precise discrete rangefinder from there, we delve into the intricate details of the fascinating world of photography, comparing film and digital cameras and mirrorless and DSLR to give you a comprehensive understanding of what each has to offer. We aim to create a crystal clear perception of the unique capabilities and potential pitfalls that each type of camera might present. In the realm of film photography, we'll explore the essence of its traditional charm, the tangible physical connection it creates with your subjects, and how it compels you to adopt a more thoughtful approach. We'll delve into the mechanics of film cameras, the distinct grain, and the dynamic range that gives your photos a vintage and timeless feel. Transitioning to digital, we'll touch upon its convenience of instant image viewing and the vast potential it offers for post-processing. We'll discuss its high-speed performance, the versatile ISO range, and the myriad of options in terms of aperture and shutter speed. Digital cameras, with their advanced technology, provide an ease of use and adaptability that makes them a popular choice among both amateurs and professionals. As we dive into the domain of mirrorless cameras, we'll shed light on their compact design, the electronic viewfinder, and their laudable video capabilities. These cameras, with their shorter shutter lag and impressive autofocus system, have been gaining momentum in the market due to their lightweight build and general user-friendliness. On the other end of the spectrum, we'll discuss DSLRs, the time-honored giants of the photography world. We'll explore their unmatched speed, sophisticated autofocus system, and the range of high-quality lenses available. 
The DSLR, with its impeccable image quality and sturdy build, serves as a reliable tool for those serious about their craft. In between these discussions, we let you in on the secrets of mastering the bulb mode, a camera setting that paves the way for capturing those mesmerizing long exposure shots. Bulb mode, a feature found in most digital and DSLR cameras, keeps the shutter open for as long as you hold the button, allowing you to capture movement in a still image for a dramatic effect. We'll also explain the myriad of techniques you can employ using the bulb mode, from capturing stunning star trails in the night sky to creating light paintings and beyond. We'll provide examples, tips and tricks to help you harness the power of bulb mode, ensuring you are armed with the knowledge to create captivating long exposure shots that are sure to leave your audience in awe. We'll also introduce you to the magic of bulb mode for capturing those mesmerizing long exposure shots. Next, we turn our focus to lenses and accessories. As you may know, there is a diverse range of lenses that photographers can choose from, and each type has its own distinct features and advantages. Starting with the wide-angle lens, this is a type of lens that can capture a larger field of view compared to other lenses. This is particularly useful for landscape and architectural photography as it allows the photographer to capture a broad perspective. Not only does it provide a wider field of view, but it also tends to exaggerate the sense of depth and scale, adding a dynamic element to your images. Following the wide angle, we have the macro lens. Now, this is a very specialized type of lens that allows for extreme close-up photography, typically of very small subjects like insects or flowers. The unique thing about macro lenses is that they can focus at very close distances and capture the subject in life-size detail. This can reveal beautiful and intricate details that would otherwise be missed by the naked eye. Then, we have the prime and zoom lenses. A prime lens has a fixed focal length, meaning you cannot zoom in or out. This might sound like a disadvantage, but in fact, prime lenses typically offer superior image quality and wider apertures, making them great for low-light situations and creating beautiful background blur or bokeh. On the other hand, zoom lenses provide a range of focal lengths in one convenient package. This gives photographers the flexibility to crop or compose their images without having to change lenses. Now, let's talk about the MTF charts. Transfer function is a measure of a lens's sharpness and contrast. These charts can seem intimidating at first, but they can provide valuable information about how a lens will perform under different conditions. We'll break down these charts and explain how you can interpret them to choose the best lens for your needs. The concept of crop factor is another important aspect of lens selection. This refers to the difference in field of view between a full-frame camera and a crop sensor camera when the same lens is used. Understanding crop factor can help you choose the correct lens to achieve the desired field of view on your specific camera. And of course, we'll dive into the transformative world of lens filters. A lens filter is an accessory that can be attached to the front of the lens to modify the light entering the camera. There are many types of lens filters, each with its own purpose and effect on the image. From polarizing filters that reduce reflections and enhance colors, to neutral density filters that allow for longer exposures in bright light, the possibilities are endless. In this deep dive, we will uncover the power and potential of each lens and accessory, helping you to enhance your photography skills and capture stunning images. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting on your photographic journey, understanding lenses and accessories is a key part of becoming a successful photographer. As we venture into the world of advanced photography equipment, we'll delve into the intricate world of Canon's lens acronyms. Each acronym represents a different feature of the lens. From the EF, which stands for electrofocus, to IAS, which indicates image stabilization, Canon's lens acronyms are a language on their own. We will navigate through this language, helping you understand each term and its corresponding function. This well-rounded knowledge will serve you well, enabling you to make informed decisions when choosing your lens. Moreover, we will also explore the importance of memory cards in recording and preserving your cherished moments. Memory cards are more than just storage devices, they play a critical role in capturing high-resolution images and videos. 
will guide you through various types of memory cards, from compact flash cards, CF cards, to secure digital cards, SD cards, and their respective advantages. We will also discuss the speed class, storage capacity, and reliability, helping you select the right memory card that suits your photography needs and budget. Next, we will dive deeper into the topic of tripods, an essential piece of equipment that provides stability to your shots. Tripods are a must for any dedicated photographer, whether you're a landscape lover or a portrait enthusiast. They provide stability, reduce camera shake, and allow you to experiment with different angles and perspectives. We'll elaborate on the various types of tripods available, such as aluminum, carbon fiber, and travel tripods, each with their unique properties and uses. We'll also cover the importance of tripod heads, how to select the right one based on your shooting style, and how to properly set up and adjust your tripod for maximum stability. Moreover, we will take a detour to discuss the importance of other accessories like filters, flashes, and carrying cases. Each of these components has a role in enhancing your photography experience. Filters can change the mood of your photos, flashes can illuminate your subjects, and carrying cases can ensure the safety of your precious equipment. Finally, we'll give you a glimpse into the future of photography, the exciting world of drone photography. This relatively new field opens up a world of opportunities for photographers to capture awe-inspiring aerial views that were previously unreachable. From captivating landscapes to cityscapes, drone photography provides a unique perspective that can truly elevate your photography game. We'll talk about the basics of drone operation, the rules and regulations around it, and how to capture stunning aerial shots safely and effectively. In conclusion, our journey into the world of advanced photography equipment is more than just about equipment. It's about providing you with the knowledge and tools to elevate your photography skills, open up new possibilities, and ultimately capture the world in your unique way. Plus, we'll give you a glimpse of the exciting possibilities of drone photography. In the end, remember that the best equipment for you is what best serves your needs and complements your unique style. This is the key to unlocking your full potential as a storyteller, a moment catcher, a world observer. Some people might argue that a more expensive piece of equipment will automatically make your work better, but that's not necessarily true. Each photographer has their own unique fingerprint, their own distinct viewpoint that can't be replicated by any piece of machinery. Your camera is an extension of your eye, a tool that can help translate your vision into an image. It's not about having the most cutting-edge equipment, but about how you use what you have to express your artistic vision. You may find that an old film camera, a second-hand lens, or even a simple smartphone camera suits your style better than the latest DSLR or mirrorless camera on the market. Photographic tools like cameras, lenses, filters, tripods, and lighting gear are merely instruments to aid in the creation of compelling visuals. They should not exert influence over your vision, but rather serve to enhance and facilitate it. The focus should always be on the final image, the message you want to convey, and the story you want to tell. After all, photography is not about the gear, but the person behind it. Photographers are explorers, adventurers. They dive into the unknown, seeking to capture the beauty of the world and the human condition in a unique and compelling way. And so, the equipment you choose should support your sense of adventure, not hinder it. It should be durable, portable, reliable, and above all, tailored to your needs. That's why it is essential to keep experimenting, to never stop learning. Each new piece of gear brings its own challenges and opportunities. Each new situation demands the use of different techniques, different angles, different lighting conditions. The more you experiment, you'll discover about your unique style and preferences. Being a good photographer is not about owning the best, most expensive equipment. It's about mastering the art of observation, about understanding light, composition, and color. It's about learning to tell compelling stories through visuals, about capturing the world as you see it, not as others would like you to see it. It's about using your equipment as a tool, not as a crutch. The photography equipment market is vast, with a myriad of options to suit every need and budget. Each piece of gear has its pros and cons, its quirks and features. 
but remember it's not about the camera, it's about the photographer, it's about how you see the world, how you translate your vision into images. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of photography equipment. It's been to share these insights with you and we hope you found them useful. But most importantly, remember that your equipment should be a reflection of your personal style. It should be a tool that enables you to capture the world in the way only you can. Until next time, happy shooting.